guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shabna Rahman and you're watching The Shabna Show. Today's video is based on a tour of the Starbrook Market. Uh, I guess most of you have shopped there and you know how busy it is. And it is the biggest market in the country and is known as the Big Market. Uh, recently, there was a massive cleanup exercise there. The vendors uh, as well as the minibus drivers and the taxi drivers were off business for a day and we're going to show you um, during the cleanup exercise what went on and we also will show you after they returned to work and everything was back to normal and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Starbrook Market is located on Water Street, Georgetown and it is made of steel and iron and was built by the Edgemoor Iron Company of Delaware in USA. It covers an area of about 80,000 square feet with a steel frame structure weighing an estimated 635 tons, making it the largest market in the country. Above the market's main entrance is the steel tower that holds the famous four dial clock. Whenever anyone thinks about the Starbrook market, the clock is the first thing that comes to mind. This market was actually being used by enslaved Africans long before it was built. They sold their produ produce there on Sundays. And a fun fact is that during that time uh, when it was ruled under the Dutch, the city was known as Starbrook. It was renamed Georgetown after King George III. There is always a hustle and bustle in the market with the vendors, the, the shoppers, the minibus and taxi drivers, and even the passengers who use the speedboat service in the Demora River. While major crime is not that rampant there, there may be small robberies. As I walked along filming, I got many warnings to be careful with my phone. Some people, including vendors who thought I was fil filming them, were not so kind though. <laughs> they made some rude remarks. But I hope that doesn't prevent you from shopping. Maybe you may have a, a better experience because there's always so many fresh fruits and vegetables that you can have there. There's also fish, meat, clothing, fabric, grocery, footwear, jewelry, and many other items. In the vicinity, you can find fast food outlets, um, including Demico Quick Serve, popular franchises such as KFC, Pizza Hut. This is Banga Mary, hey? Which one is that you have there? Paggy. Okay. Nice. Yes. Take me out here, Carl. You too? Yeah. yeah man. Okay. No, no. <laughs> so what's your name? Duran. Duran. Okay, Duran. And that's what you're selling? Yeah, please. Vegetables and... Yeah. Yeah. How long are you selling in the market? A long time. How do you find the stairs right now? Huh? Yeah. You can have the prices as well. Yeah. The prices is yeah. good for you? Price is cheap. The price is cheap. Uh huh, it's not reasonable. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hi, how are you? What's your name? Simona. Simona. How long are you selling in the market? Mm. 40 years? Uh huh. Where are you from? Germany. Okay. And um, I see you have a lot of fresh greens here. Actually, they're for finish. Oh, really? You sell every day out here? Yeah. Okay. And um, you satisfied with the prices you're getting now for vegetables? Yeah, ma. Right now, it's a little cheap. It's a little cheap. Okay. It's come and go, you know? Yeah, right, right. Well, how do you feel about the cleanup of the market? It's really good. It's really healthy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and you're glad they did that? You gotta start doing it like every month, then. Yeah. Clean up, do a, do a general cleanup, you know? Yeah. cleanup exercise at the Starbrook Market and its immediate environs. Um, we're removing garbage, we're cleaning drains, we're um, washing down the entire area and we will also be doing some uh, marking of the roadways as well as sanitization. This is um, a collaboration between the Mayor and Councilors of the City of Georgetown, the Ministry of Public Works, the Guyana Police Force, the um, Ministry of Health, Vet to Control Section, and the Guyana Fire Service. So today you have to take the vendors off this way to do the cleaning. Yes. Or they will be back out. Yes, we took one day off of vending so that we can focus um, entirely on cleaning the entire area. Um, usually we ask for no vending so that we can have free access to the entire area. And we also have the participation of the vendors in the cleanup exercise. So it's a one day exercise where no vending is allowed in the area that will be clean. Or from tomorrow, well, then it will be um, vending as usual. On a regular basis, it's not um, something like prior, it was like, uh, something that we did um, occasionally. But now, what we are going to do is have these exercises more frequently so that we can maintain the areas. We're not going to wait until another four months or so to have another cleanup exercise. But we're hoping that at least once every month we'll be able to wash down the entire market and its environment so that um, its environment, sorry, so that we can have the area remain clean, clean all the time. Great. Okay. Again? Yeah, it's excellent. It's a very good thing to do. Uh huh. People, because they need to get people in range and everybody in an hour position so everybody can do what they got to do. Yes. So you want everybody got for late. Yes. You're a vendor here? No, I sell the bar. I sell fish down at the bar. Okay, but then you're happy. They're doing an excellent job cleaning. I just come to front. I'll be cleaning up my day in front of you guys. I don't know where I'm at. Okay. All right. So, the cleaning up is, we need a cleaning up like this. A little more often. Not for to be alone, but be regularly. That people could get to like, get to breathe more properly, you know? It's all right, it's nice. Everything will keep. Yes. Tomorrow everybody will be at work again, so everybody will, the environment will be clean, the washing, you can see like the washing of the markets and so. Yeah, man, something needs to be done a long time, a very long time. They need to do it. Answer. Big, big sir, now that thing. You need to get things thing in line. So everybody can get good business flowing and everything doing good. Answer. watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to thank you all for supporting my videos so far and especially my new subscribers you guys rock I love you all and if you haven't subscribed already please do and I'll see you in my next video because we have more interesting videos coming so until then stay well